Okay, so in this problem, we have a set of intersecting lines. Line segment DC is intersecting line segment AE. And when two lines intersect each other, they form what is known as vertical angles. This angle right here would be vertical to this angle here. EBC and DBA are vertical angles. And vertical angles always have the same angle measure. So this angle measurement is the equivalent to this angle measurement. And we also have this obtuse angle right here, angle DBE, which is vertical to angle ABC. So these two angles are vertical angles as well. But what we have to do is figure out the measure of angle EBC, which is this angle right here, which we know is equivalent to angle DBA because they are vertical angles. Well, this angle right here is represented by the expression x plus 25. And this angle right here is represented by the expression 2x plus 5. And because these two angles are vertical angles and therefore equivalent to each other, this expression must be equal to this expression. So we're going to take these two expressions and set them equal to each other. Now notice we have a variable x on both sides of our equation. So what we have to do is get the x on one side of our equal sign so we can isolate that variable and figure out what it is equal to. Now a lot of people are used to moving the x over on the left side, but you can actually get the x over on any side that you want to. I tend to move the variable x on whichever side of the equal sign would make it easier to solve. And in this case, I'm going to take this x and move it over on this side. So if you ever have a variable out here by itself with nothing in front of it, you have to consider this a positive x or a positive variable. And the opposite of that would be a negative x. Now remember, if there's no coefficient in the front of that variable, there really is a number 1 in the front of that variable. So we're going to take this negative 1x and move it to the other side of our equal sign and combine it with the positive 2x. And 2x minus 1x is just 1x. And we still have our plus 5 on this side. And on the left-hand side, we still have positive 25. Next, we're going to do the opposite of adding 5, which is to subtract 5. And we have to do the same thing on the other side of our equal sign to balance our equation. And 25 take away 5 is 20. Over on this side, the opposite integers cancel each other out, making 0. And now all we have on the right-hand side is just an x. So we can read it as 20 equals x, or x is equal to 20. Now be careful, 20 is not the angle measure of EBC. 20 is just the value of x. So what we have to do is take either one of these expressions, let's just take this one here, x plus 25, and plug 20 in for x. So if we substitute x with 20, that would give us 20 plus 25, which is equal to 45 degrees. So we can say that this angle here, DBA, is equal to 45 degrees. And because this angle over here is vertical or equal to this angle, we would say that this angle is also equal to 45 degrees. We could have also came up with 45 degrees by substituting 20 into this x into this expression. So let's just do that really quick. So we're going to take 2x plus 5 and substitute 20 in for x, which would give us 2 times 20 plus 5. 2 times 20 is 40, and 40 plus 5 more is equal to 45 degrees. So the angle measure of EBC is in fact equal to 45 degrees. Let's try another example. For this example, we have to figure out the measure of angle ABC. 
angle ABC is this angle right here. And notice angle ABC does not have an expression to represent its angle measure. But if you take a look at either one of its adjacent angles, we should note that that angle with angle ABC would form a straight angle. So this angle is the supplement to ABC, and supplementary angles always have the sum of 180 degrees. So if we can figure out this angle here, we can subtract that from 180 degrees to determine the angle measure of ABC. So let's start by setting these two expressions equal to each other. So we have 8x minus 6 equal to 7x plus 2. So our goal is to get the variable x all by itself so we can say that x is equal to something and then we take that x value and substitute it into one of these two expressions to figure out the angle measure. So first I'm going to take this positive 7x and write the opposite right beneath which is negative 7x. And when we combine 8x with negative 7x on this side of our equation that leaves us with positive 1x and then we just bring down the rest of our equation minus 6 equals and these terms canceled out leaving us with just 2 on this side. Now we take the opposite of minus 6 which is plus 6 and balance our equation by adding 6 on the right hand side of our equation. So on the right hand side that leaves us with 8 and on the left hand side we have just x. So now we know that x is equal to 8. So let's take this expression here, 8x minus 6, and substitute 8 in for x to figure out what the angle measure is. All right, so we have 8 times 8, which is 64. And 64 minus 6 is equal to 58. So this angle right here is equal to 58 degrees. But remember we are not looking for this angle measure. We are looking for the angle measure of angle ABC, which is the supplement to this angle. And supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees. So to figure out the measure of ABC, we can take 180 degrees and subtract from it 58 degrees. So this column here would give us 2 and this column over here would give us 2 as well, and 1 minus nothing is 1. So we have determined that angle ABC is equal to 122 degrees.